What's up, man? It's ready to ball. You know, the usual. Man, can you believe we've come this far already? Seems like just yesterday we were all up in each other's faces at the Rookie Showcase, man. NBA is a whole nother world, though. Yeah. It ain't easy being the best, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I knew you were going to drop that tired line, man. I can always tell when you're about to start cracking, homie. No, it ain't cracking what is the truth, homie. Look, you can't deny greatness. <laughs> oh, yes, I can. And yes, I will. <laughs> so what's up, man? How we competing tonight? All right. We're going to keep it real simple and straightforward. All right. Whoever's team wins, takes it. Loser has to follow the winner off the court doing the I'm not worthy dance. <laughs> I can dig that, man. Yeah, especially since you're going to be the one following me around looking all foolish and whatnot, uh -uh, man. Uh-uh, it ain't going down like that, though. Hey, yo, but you got practice, man. Get low. Oh, oh, you know oh. What I'm saying? You're not worthy. Get low, baby. You're not worthy. <laughs> Come on. I was like that, but... It's funny because then I just post a video going against Jackson Ellis. I know somebody's going to ask about that. Look at that nice spine. Look at the nice pass. But yeah, that's true. But like I said before, most of my gameplay got corrupted. So I have another video against Jackson Ellis right here. This is part three, the third matchup against Jackson Ellis. He was a little bit nicer this time around. Got another nice spine. I'm out here dishing, dropping dimes. But he was a little nicer this time around. I was going to call him out. But I didn't want to be that way. You know, I thought about switching it up. Being nice for once. Damn, damn, damn that boy good. Hold up, y'all. Pay attention right here. Jackson Ellis, what were you doing? First off, you got to get that Kia Slam cam. Y'all already know that. But you know I'm about to replay this because it looked like I kind of jumped over Jackson Ellis. I didn't jump over him. Well, I kind of jumped and he ran right under me. But that's still jumping over him. He was still high enough to go over a grown man. Jackson Ellis, you know? Now you know. Look at that find of Robin Lopez. Now Robin Lopez, I don't really like him, man. On 2K and in real life. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. I don't know him in real life. But on 2K, he be missing layups. He doesn't shoot when he's supposed to. It's just annoying to play with him. Look at me going to the post. Look at the post moves. Looking like a center. Well, 2K did put me at center. I learned some post moves. I had to. But you see, I'm a 6'4 point guard. I'm bigger than most point guards. So I figured, you know what? Let me learn some post moves real quick. I used to do them all the time, but I haven't done them lately. Look at Dragic or Dragic, whatever his name is. Throw them threes up. He's going to knock down that three-pointer. And as always, we're beginning to take off on the Minnesota Timberwolves because Jackson Ellis' team just can't back up his ego. His team is so bad. And it's weird because they have a pretty nice roster. But, you know, the way 2K is, if you're not athletic, it doesn't matter about your stats. You're not going to do well. That's why you have people like Gerald Green, Wilson Chandler, Amon Shumpert doing way better than Kevin Love. You know, you don't see a lot of Kevin Love gameplay on YouTube. Even though you should because he's a beast. But you just don't because he's not really athletic. And look at Kevin Martin trying to go in for an easy layup. Come on, son. You know, I'm one of the best blocking guards in the NBA. Why would you try me? Access to now, player. Back on offense. You see, I'm trying to put the moves on Kevin Martin. He's playing that nice defense. So, you know, I'm going to run that pick and roll. You know the deal. Look at the fake going in for the dunk. I love doing that. You're going to see me do that a lot now. Call for that pick and roll. Fake one way. Go the other way. I know that's cheesy. It really is cheesy because it works almost every single time. But, you know, if 2K is going to cheat me, I'm going to cheat right back. That's just how I am. You know, 2K never plays you straight up. So every once in a while, you got to pull out that craft cheese and do whatever. You see, I'll try to do it again right here. Forcing my way in. Going to get that layup to go. That finisher, level one. Actually, I need to upgrade my signature skills. But that finisher with that posterizer is a deadly combination. And I'm going to have an attribute update video coming soon because a lot of people are asking for it. After this video, we're actually going to be at All-Star Weekend. So I figure since All-Star Weekend is kind of the halfway point in the NBA, after All-Star Weekend, I'll make an attribute update video. And I'll also show you guys some of my endorsements because I have a good amount of endorsements. And look at that. Fine. I'm going to start doing that. Pick and roll to the oop. That's an unstoppable combination right there. But I have a good amount of endorsements that I haven't been showing off. Damn, damn, damn that boy good. Going in for another one. What's that on Jackson Ellis too? Look at me screaming. Look at this. That boy D-Man crazy, ain't he? He's just looking at the bench screaming. Calm down. But 
as I was saying, I have a good amount of endorsements that I haven't been showing off. I can't wait to show you. A lot of people criticize me for going to that new agent. But, yo, he's been hooking it up just like I'm hooking up my teammates right now. My agent's been hooking it up for me. I ain't going to lie about that. But, man, this game is pretty different than the other games against Jackson Ellis because usually Jackson Ellis gets blown out. But you see they're only down five. So, you know, I'm trying to put in that work. Look at you. Why are you sagging off? You say I got bad player and look at me looking at the crowd talking a little trash. I told you I'm arrogant. Those arrogant decisions make you an arrogant player and it's so funny. It's hilarious. It's fun just trash talking the crowd. I'll be trash talking other players. They have animations. Get that out of here, Jackson. Sorry, Miss Jackson. I am for real going up for a dunk. Jackson Ellis has nothing for me. But since I chose arrogant decisions or jerk decisions, my player is a jerk. And they have animations in this game where sometimes somebody will foul you and you will get in their face like you about to just Sharkisha them or something. Yo, it's hilarious. I have to show them off. You see right here, I pick up another assist for LaMarcus Aldridge. And that's a timely assist also because there's three minutes left in the fourth quarter and 10 points. It's kind of a nice lead. But hey, you know, you never know. Somebody could go off and still come back. All it takes is a few threes. Look at the pick. Look at the dunk. Damn, damn, damn that boy good. Look at the meme mug. Tell you just arrogant. Kevin Love, you my boy. I'm sorry that had to be you, man. You should have known to get out the way, K Love. You know you didn't want them problems. Look at me mugging. Ricky Rubio, don't mess with D-Man. He crazy. But that's going to be the end of the game. You see, we did take off a nice little 12-point win. Hey, I'll take it. But the shot clock is winding down. And you remember the bet at the beginning of the game, right? Loser has to follow the winner off the court doing the I'm not worthy thing. And it's funny because I wasn't really expecting to see it. But you're going to see it right here, man. It's pretty funny. Look at me pointing at Jackson Ellis. And there you go. Get low, Jackson. Pause. Anyways, holler at you all later. Peace.